This is our discussion segment of Good Morning, Anna Bra. And for those of you that are just joining us, it's good to know that um, you are there watching. Good Morning, Anna Bra, that comes, comes your way from Monday to Friday every week. And uh, by the special grace of God, we hope to continue. All right. Today, trade and commerce is an important component of Obiano's four pillar agenda. Importantly, Governor Obiano's aim in trade and commerce is to ensure that Anambra returns its historic place as the leading hub for trade and commerce in West Africa and beyond. What has contributed to the boost of commercial activities in the state? How can it be sustained? These and many more questions will form our discussions on Good Morning Annabelle today. And our guest is Honorable Dr. Pete Ibida, member representing Njikoka 2 constituency and the chairman of the House Committee on Trade, Commerce and Wealth Creation. It's good to have you in our studio, sir. My pleasure. Welcome. Thank you. I want to say welcome. Thank You're you welcome. very much. You're welcome. The Thank government you. is doing a lot has done so much already, has revamped the economic system of the state, has energized the economic system of the state, has resuscitated virtually all the markets, and of course built new markets. And um, I know that one of my first motions in the uh, Hello Chambers was to infuse more infrastructure and then, of course, facilities in the various, especially the, the major markets in the Anambra State. Anambra State, of course, is, is, is called named investment heaven. Uh, uh, we all know that the governor uh, really, uh, that one of the basic things he did when he came in was on security. That's right. You know, and uh, after some time, you know, because we are media people and we sometimes we do phone in programs you know okay. people started complaining that these people are coming out little by little especially in onicha you know and uh, recently a woman was dancing when where we went out to do something that uh, he's, she's, she was very happy with the governor reason that all these little little boys that do pickpockets that he chased them away that's right. but we we started hearing reports that these people are coming back gradually especially in Onitsha. The criminals. Yes. Uh, is there anything uh, the government is doing presently? Because we are, what we are looking at now is how to sustain what the is temple. already mm. on ground. That's right. Now, now, before, now, apart from security, which is already established in a number of states, is there another thing government is doing so to, many. Partner, to partner the private investors so as good. to boost trade and I tell you something. Look at, you can drive from down Agwata, Agwaka to Onicha, to Asaba. You may not even remember to put on your headline. That your is headline. true. I have I made that mistake severally. I forgot. When I, was, I, I kept my driver aside for some, some other thing, I drove myself. I forgot to put on my headline. And what, what energizes the economic system, most importantly, is power. So with this traffic light all over the place now, it has energized the economic system of the state. It has infused life in the business of our people, our traders. And you can see some traders can move from even 7, 10, 8, 9 a.m., 9 p.m. from Onitsha to Oka. Before, before 7, everybody was in his house. But now, you can move from Onitsha even 10, 11. Well, but, but sir, you know, apart from apart so from, it, and that movement is economic flow. Yeah, I, apart it's, from that street lighting, you know, I, I know that I have people living in Onitsha. Yeah, there have been complaints that since after the Christmas celebrations, there has not been light. I, I don't know if there is anything because I know a light is federal something. I don't know if there is anything uh, you know we are doing to boost. I'm uh, happy that, you are asking you know, and you are answering. <laughs> you know, I don't Thank you very much. No, okay. you know, because okay. the, all these uh, people doing uh, little two businesses like barbers, you know, you were right. dressers and all whatnot, you know, most times they resort to gensets or what have you. 
you know, what uh, is the government doing? Well, your man, thank you so place? much. Uh, for those of you that are just joining us, you're watching Good Morning Anabra this morning, and uh, we are looking at sustaining trade and commerce in Anabra State. And our guest today is Honorable Dr. Pete Ibida. He's a member representing the Jukoka 2 constituency and the chairman has committee on trade, commerce and wealth creation. We were at the market yesterday. Yeah. We visited the Oka Ekoka market. And then we saw some individuals on the roadside. Uh, they were making a complaint that they cannot go into the market because they cannot afford to pay for shops. And we also go to on it, we find out that some traders are, are really saying that there is no much uh, commitment on government side to encourage them to do business. It's just an allegation, anyway. That's why I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what the side of government. The robbing it on government is wrong. But as for people moving into the roads for with their ways for trading, that is a clear observation. Good. You are right. Good. And they said they cannot have, uh, into a, have a shop inside, uh, pay for the shop because of the amount of money placed on the lock up shops or which they're supposed to trade inside the market. That's what and I they needed think. government's encouragement. You know that either reduce the money that is being paid or possibly provide way to stay. That one I wouldn't accept. You know, our people, not just our people, our, our people generally are very complete, they like vilifications. They like to complain. There are no thing you give to these people, especially the women among them, that they will not complain. In this case, it was a man that was complaining. A man? Yes. But they, they call, they call him a woman. <laughs> <laughs> they must complain. But it, they refuse to understand that it's more hazardous. It's a lot of hazard to tread on the road. Any, even if a vehicle does not fair break and crush people there, or wound people there, and it is too hazardous to tread on the road. It causes um, uh, it, make, it, it, it keeps the road filthy. The the, the environment bec becomes dirty, and of course, you deny the legitimate traders from selling their wares as well. Those people who already paid for their stalls inside the market cannot. Be, uh, 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 be patronized anymore mm. because you have blocked them. You have put, put a block wall mm. against them. And they are crying. And these people are the people that are taxable. They are the people that they, they, they have books for taxation. They have, uh, they, they, of course, chapters where they, 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 they when you open their chapters, to, you see their names there. And you now. Uh, uh, source for their taxes, but those people on the road are no, are not known. They are not recognised. Uh, apart from being on the road, not being on the road, uh, going into the shop and they are claiming that uh, the tax given to them, what they are supposed to pay, can't it be reduced? Encourage them to do more business. No, and no, no, I, I don't think anybody will complain about tax anymore, because it was reduced the first time. I joined. I helped in crying out about it, and Obiano did not know himself. And he waded into it, and it was reduced drastically. And even before the election, when the election was very close, information filtered. Okay, you mean the governor did yes. not know that uh, such yes, amounts exactly. has been imposed yes. on people? And of okay. course, some of these people uh, resorted to taxing the traders indiscriminately. The one who would say the nefarious activity, of mm -hmm. course, uh, is every state. There are criminals. These people are criminals. It's not because they are not with guns. They are criminals because they are starting people from innocent traders, innocent citizens. So, but the government is not aware. And when the moment it was reported to the government, they put a stop to that. Or it was became minimized because you can never completely eradicate completely. So, so are, you, are, you, are you saying now that government there is a standard, a standard the government has set concerning of course, there is a standard, the market. minimal standard, of course, and that minimal standard is very reasonable, very reasonable. Recently, the state government was uh, calling on people of um, the states, that's the citizens of the states, to bring back their investments home. 
think on philosophy that started with uh, Dr. Ezefe and now the present administration calls it Akulono. But I'd like to find out from you, sir, what yes. effort is the government making to encourage our people to bring their businesses home? Because of the system, the atmosphere, the environment that is very conducive, that is so attractive, everywhere is neat, the environment is decent, the, 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 uh, and uh, even I give kudos to, to uh, the, Her Excellency uh, Chief uh, Mrs. Um, Abele Chukwobiado with her cafe program. It is wonderful. It's touching the lives of the people and of course people building toilets and all that. Those people that would have been going to inside the bush to ease themselves now have a decent um, a place to do that and all these contribute to the a, a, a decent uh, environment so generally decent environment and of course uh, making the place uh, the, the, the when the, the 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 peace is sacrosanct in any system people want the system thrives people want to get there and enjoy the peace that nobody i know that w that enjoys trouble and especially where there is the uh, trouble uh, generates uh, uh, metamorphosis to catastrophe and that is where I, this um, chamber of commerce i missed also mis motion in the floor of the house last year uh, and encouraging his excellency to please bring together and construct uh, um, the uh, a, a central trade fair for the three chambers, that's on each other, Oka and Newi. And he has uh, already started that. Last year's budget, some money was, I think about 50 million was um, allocated for that. Uh, for now, I do not know how far they have gone, but I, I feel that something serious should be done about that to encourage the, the trade fair, because trade fair, our trade fair uh, should not be taken to our people, should not, their traders should not be going to any good trade fair to showcase their wares and move to Portacot. I schooled in Portacot and I've been doing business in Portacot, doing business in Portacot. You move our people, traders, to go and showcase their businesses in Portacot. No, it's not acceptable. Our business, because here in the whole of the nation, our Anambra state is number one, a distant number one in trading and commerce. Yes. Uh, you know, from all what you say, I can uh, confidently say. Uh, that all the that gov uh, the government have done these uh, three years plus and still counting that it has really uh, boosted uh, internally generated revenue in any way. Could of course, you know that. Mm. In fact, it's boosted it with more than 100 percent. Mm, that's really? great. Yes, I mm. know that when Obiano came in, there used to be this 500 million or thereabout. Mm. But now I know he's not getting less than two billion. That's good. Right. Now I want to find out, what is the relationship between the traders and the governments like? Now, it's far better, more conducive, more cordial than it used to be. Mm. I remind you of one other thing. There is this fire service, the best in, in Nigeria. Yes, we'll the, the motor, motor service, the motor fire service. Mm. It's wonderful. Everything. The only one I can take to compare it, I have seen, is the one that uh, operates in Shell. Those ones that operate in Shell, BP, Shell, Ni Nigeria. And otherwise, what you used to see in government systems is rickety vehicles. Sometimes no what, no no soap. Sometimes no <laughs> chemical and all that. But this one is well fortified in the three key cities. You have in Onicha, I joined, I made it, joined in the motion in the house, and quickly Obiano provided this uh, equipment, mm. fire service equipment. That is why once there is fire, the other day there was fire in my, my, one of my, my, the towns in my, my constituency of Abadana. Before 10 minutes, they were there and they put up the fire. The other day they were at uh, uh, Stanel, beside Stanel. We were in the house. Before you knew it, they called us back that fire service had quenched.
mm. fire. No doubt. So there's one in Newi, there's one in Onitsha, there's one in Oka, and then those other ones positioned here and there. So for emergency response, quick mm. emergency response, mm. and that is why that's how you know a government that is government for the people.